Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode on the Annie Elise Diaries channel. I am here with my sister, a fan favorite, um, and my sister Amy, and today we are going to see how well we truly know each other. Now, spoiler alert. I know I always call her my twin, because basically we are twins. It's like, we look alike, no, well now not that I chopped my hair, but we look alike, our brain wave link, wavelengths, I don't even know how to say that, are the same. We're basically twins. But today we're gonna see how well we know each other, if we really got that like twin mentality thing going, which, hi, spoiler alert, again, we do. Um, but yeah, let's have some fun with it. Do you know yourself as well as I know you? Oh, probably not. <laughs> probably not, probably not. Freckles, zip it. First question, who was the first one to sneak out? Only because she was older. <laughs> I never snuck out of our house. You didn't? No, I've only snuck out one time and it was at Audra's. I never snuck out of our house either. But you know I what? was terrified. Mom had the <laughs> alarm on lockdown and oh my gosh, are you kidding me? She would set the alarm right after dinner and like slept with the doors wide open. Like definitely not. Yeah. She and a little funny story about our mom too. She is a very light sleeper and will wake up at anything and next to her bed she has her kids and a baton, which like, that's not gonna help you. Yeah, exactly, no house. way am I sneaking in and out of that yeah, house. You can't get out of that house. So I guess I was wrong there, okay. What's each other's favorite color? Mm. Black, I was gonna say black for you, or like some sort of metallic. Black, <laughs> black for you or pink for you? Black, black. Or for soul. Exactly, <laughs> cold hearted. <laughs> so who has the better style? Oh, definitely Annie. I go to her for all fashion advice. Although my style isn't that great. Yours is actually And I mean, good. mine's elevated. Is it? Let's yes, be it's honest. Good. It is good. You're constantly doing revolve vibes. I mean, let's not look yeah, at let's not look today, our basics but... today. Did you both have a rebel phase? <sighs> yeah, I mean, definitely Annie Moore. But I was like an undercover rebel and Annie just did stupid shit and got her caught. All the time. <laughs> all the time. And I, but I feel like we were the same age when we went through it, right? Like I was like end of my high school era, when, or middle to end of it when I started. I was going more like it. eighth grade, freshman year. Oh, so you were a little. And then I did than the me. whole like high school sweetheart thing and was wiped up in high school. Not okay, really but wiped, but like, mm -mm. you were still a rebel because. Okay, wait. How, okay, how? <laughs> Hold on. Story about Amy. She her prom group changed all of the rules oh for our, our entire high school's okay. senior prom go forward because of how crazy they got. They had a party bus, Esperanza High School, class of 2001. If you were a part of it, you remember. <laughs> they had a party bus. And then when they were going into the dance, they had like breathalyzers. They searched the bus. There were bongs. There was alcohol. There was all this stuff. They were able to bring people at the time who were over 21 or 18. Yeah, I mean, what loser? <laughs> Honestly, what losers were going to like school Like half of the people that went were in college already. Yeah, ew. <laughs> but after that night, and then, oh, and then the bus drove back to our house because we were like the photo picture house where we like, they took photos before. So the bus comes back. There's like a fight that breaks out in the middle of the street. Like, just drama. There's a lot drama, of drama. drama. People, some people couldn't graduate high school. <laughs> there were people suspended. It was definitely a nightmare. Basically, we spent the last two weeks of high school having to answer to the campus police officer <laughs> and file reports on what happened. And then rules for every single dance True. were forever changed. Sorry, everybody who is a Esperanza alumni. <laughs> <laughs> what was it like growing up with a sister? Do we want to admit Do you want we didn't get along? Yeah. Do you want the honest answer? We didn't get on this twin wavelength until I was probably 21. I feel like it was right before I moved to New York. So was I 21? How old were you when you moved to New York? Yeah, we both moved to New York too. That's another twin Separately. Thing. Separately. I, it was 2010. And I feel like it was oh, like, okay. you know, I'm like, I can't do that. Where's Theo? That's that you have Chris Theo when you need him. That was. 2010 was 13 years ago. I'm 35. I was 22. 22. So about yeah, yeah about 21, 22 is when we got close. Because you had a couple troublemaker friends that I hooked up with jobs, no less. Oh, that I forgot. One about in particular. That. Yeah, I forgot about that. But not only that, I feel like when we were younger, well, it was kind of a mix of things. We were three years apart, so when we were younger, I obviously always wanted to be like Amy, so I had rifle through her closet like younger sisters do. I would steal her shit and I would wear it oh and I'd put it, it back. She knew, cause again, I'm not stealth. <laughs> and um, 
then you moved out when you were 18 and so I was only 15 at the time so like we had a gap where we weren't really seeing each other very often either so I think I like borrow an ID once you did yeah I was like nervous the whole time though I remember like I left it for you under my doormat you came and got it when you lived at dad's close to me and then I you remember. and I remember I'm like great knowing Annie because she's not stealth she's gonna get caught tonight and then I'm gonna get in trouble from my mom and dad because I let her borrow it but that you wasn't, didn't that and wasn't I got back I, safely I was gonna say that wasn't the night when I stole the police officer's badge was it no <laughs> I've, I've gotten in trouble with time with you. Um, no, but yeah, we started getting close when we hit adulthood. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> Did you think that this is where your careers of one another would be as kids? No, no. I mean, I will say we've liked true crime for a really long time, so it's not super surprising that that's something you're passionate about and wanted to pursue, but I don't think you probably knew that that was even a possibility. No. Well, and by the way, Amy's a realtor, so if you're looking to buy or sell real estate in the Orange County metropolitan area, you're gonna wanna hit this agent up. Um, no, I think honestly, when I was a younger kid, I think we just kind of only knew what we knew and we grew up with our mom, hey Frex, who was a stay-at-home mom had dinner on the table every day, home cooked meals, which I need to take a note out of her book. But like, um, she was always a stay at home mom, PTA mom, everything. So I think in my mind, when I was younger, I always thought, oh, we'll be married and have kids by 25 and be a stay at home mom, this and that, which like- Yeah, that definitely didn't work out. <laughs> Let me just say 45 is the new 25. Don't rush oh, it out there, okay. don't rush it out there. No, what did I say? Like in your 30s yeah. and 40s, you're thriving, so it's like, I, I think when you're younger, you just have a full, di fully different perception. So I didn't even think I would have a career. <laughs> I guess my answer. Yeah, we're just lucky that you are still like have a job and <laughs> yeah. you're doing okay. <laughs> totally. Who had a serious boyfriend first? I think me probably. Um, are you forgetting? I love Christopher Benson. Okay. I, mean, I hope nobody from Travis Grand <laughs> Restaurant is watching this. Huh. I had a preschool crush. Um, yeah, Amy I for sure. Me. Yeah. I don't think I had my first real serious boyfriend until I was 19. Oh, was it really? Well, I, mean, I we actually, don't want to bring up who that was. <laughs> yeah, definitely not. Maybe 17, but I don't want to bring up who that was either. <laughs> um, Mine was a high school sweetheart. He didn't go to my high school at the time. We started dating and then he transferred. <laughs> and um, yeah, but then... Yeah. yeah. Mine was at 17, but he was 26, which it's like gross. Wow. What, no wonder I got into true crime. Remember dad almost called the cops on it? Yeah. And thanks to me. Yeah. You're welcome. You know who you are. Yeah. <laughs> he took like my <laughs> because card, of me, all of it. I said that you'd be really mad if he did that. Yeah. Which I would have. I, but now looking back, it's like that probably should have happened because like this guy like did a number on my life. But, but that is for a different day. <laughs> what? I was gonna say, didn't you date him later? I did. <laughs> I went back to the well. You know what, let me just say, this is why. In my mind, I was like romanticizing the idea of like, oh my God, what if I ended up with the guy who I who lost my virginity to? Who took advantage my of me. First love. Yeah, the guy who was six, seven, eight, nine years older than me. I'm like, yeah, it, it, let me just say, it did not work out. <laughs> oh God. All right, hit us. Amy, did you think Annie would have kids? Yes, she mm -hmm. always wanted kids. You I thought feel like of the my three crazy. of us, you were always the one who knew you were going to want kids. And you've always had this random obsession with chubby babies. Not so random. <laughs> chubby babies. <laughs> and then look what happened. I, I know. I've got Ask babies. Ask any shower to see. I've got the beefiest kids on the, the cutest, block. The best kids. <laughs> yeah, I guess I always knew I was going to be a mom at some point. Who is the favorite child in the family? Jay. Yeah, her brother. <laughs> Definitely not us. Not us. We're each other's favorite. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what was your favorite memory of each other? Ooh. Hold on, let me think. Oh my gosh. I don't have so many. I have so many. I want to There you go. go. No. There you go. I was going to say, like, all of our vacations. I feel like we had so many special, like, fun times. Like, or going back and forth to visit each other in New York or our New York trips after. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say anytime we've gone to a show together, like music oh. festival, whether it's Taylor I mean, Swift, The Killers, I mean, true. minus the drunken Irish goodbyes on my part where I just leave me hanging. <laughs> it's happened so many times. But we have a lot of fun at music festivals. Yeah, we just get like that's true. really drunk, like we have 
the best time ever. There's always a story. Always, and a always story. an adventure attached. We always like end up in the pit somehow, just going wild. Mm -hmm. So if you have any shows you're going to, or Lollapalooza or music festival, Key Swift. invite us. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait to get our Swift era on. It's gonna yeah. be nuts. So fun. So. Favorite family trip. Family with parents or family with siblings? <laughs> Both. With family, the only trip I remember is Wailea. Yeah. But I'd say our cabin, oh, probably. Oh, okay. That's a good one. Which we now get to do again. But I'd say as a kid, we always had so much fun going up to our Big Bear cabin during the summer and in the winter. Mm -hmm. So many memories there. A lot of memories there. And what Amy means by we get to do that again is what year did we sell it? It was our grandparents' cabin. And they sold it in, I think I, I was like 13. 97 or 98. But I could be wrong. Something, yeah, sometime around there. And like, it was a cabin where basically when we were younger, all of us would go, our cousins, our aunts, uncles, we'd stay up there for like a week over Christmas, spend the night Christmas Eve, all wake up together Christmas morning. So a big part of our life. When our grandparents sold it, we started new traditions, of course. But then my brother it ended up buying the cabin back, gosh, five years, six years ago? Has it been that long already? I think so. Gosh, time flies. But like after 20, what, after? I think it was closer to 2000, years. but yeah, anyway, it was after a long time. Yeah, it was out of our family for like 15 so years. Amazing. And the owner left so many things original, mm -hmm. so it felt like we were just going back to our cabin. Yeah. Who's more of an extrovert? You think? I yeah. think me. I yeah. don't Well, I don't know. Yeah. It's, how much alcohol is involved? <laughs> yeah, I guess I would say you, but then I think we both really like our downtime, like alone time. Yeah. Or just being with each other. <laughs> yeah, us alone. Honestly, I wasn't an extrovert until I started doing all this YouTube stuff, I don't think. Yeah, like I feel, I mean, you went out, I guess, more than I did. You? But again, I, I mean, I did, like, I hit the downtown Fullerton club scene, you know, I did. Oh, uh, back in the day. But yeah. that, again, was alcohol related. But Amy's the one who's the extrovert. Like, if you've ever got an issue or like a confrontation needs to be had, <laughs> you want Amy on your side because she will out Karen, the worst Karen okay, possible. Okay, like, bravo, 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 take that out. <laughs> okay, but no, what we can talk about is the altercations you've set me up to back you up on. For example, there was one at a bachelorette, which I will not go into detail about, but basically Annie set up the fight with a group of girls and then left me to him. So like, when I drink, I get mouthy. I know. <gasps> Bye for more shiny too. Bye for more shiny too. <laughs> Who is taller? I think we're the same. I think we're the same. Although her feet are bigger now. Ooh. After having kids. <laughs> That's the meanest thing you've ever true. said to me, but it's accurate. I've, you deserve that after the Karen comment. <laughs> Have you ever told on each other to your parents? No, definitely. 100%. <laughs> Not for a long time though. I mean, there has been. Really yeah, I mean, we don't need a narc now, hopefully. <laughs> so who got better grades growing up? Me. <laughs> Weren't you like 4.0 or honor roll or something embarrassing? I mean, not embarrassing. We made it here. Maybe. Settle <laughs> brag. So what's something you both love doing together? Watching TV. Watching TV. Shopping. Eating. Drinking. <laughs> Snacking. Shows. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's literally a not being around Gander. other people. <laughs> to exchanging Scandaball updates. Mm -hmm. Send us all your updates. Who's funnier? We're both pretty funny. We're both pretty funny, but I feel like... You might be funnier. I don't know. You <laughs> Lately, you've been cracking me up. Like when uh, we were in LA, what was it when you said? Uh, about when you got your job at Victoria's Secret? Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, I was making $9 an hour. I was <laughs> rolling. You were rolling in the day. <laughs> I really was. Cash money. Whose room was cleaner growing up? A hundred percent. Not even. To this day. I mean, you've gotten a lot better. Amy is like <laughs> super anal though. Like really anal when it comes to cleaning. Like she'll notice literally if like True. That's folded over. She's like, what's going on with the quarter of that bed? But, you know, I don't freak out to other people ever. I just clean no, myself. You just, yeah, it's your own little, what is I it, neuroses? <laughs> you won't find a drawer unorganized in my house. Little, <laughs> I'm not even kidding, guys. Her underwear is perfectly <laughs> squared and folded. Like, if you open her drawer. And my nickname growing up was Moppy. So. Well, going back to the $9 an hour, that was a Victoria's Secret. And they just stuck with you. Yeah, I get it. The next question was, who's the cleanest now? Still her. Me. Future trip you'd like to go on together? The well, one that we're planning? Yeah, we're planning one right now. For Amy's big 40. Well, that wasn't the one I was talking about, the other one. 
The camel? I'm excited for both, but yeah, the camel I'm super excited okay. for because that'll be like an adventure you, Jer, and I. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're basically, we're sister wives with my husband, <laughs> and I say it in a joking way, but like, I'm not really joking. <laughs> Well, because Jared and I were roomies for a little bit. Yeah, you guys are best friends. It's like we're a good trifecta. We're a good unit. So we're planning a, tri a triangle vacation for um, the fall to go to Morocco. Did you guys have the same friends growing up? No. My friends were all losers. <laughs> no, we didn't have the same friends. But I feel like you're close with a lot of my childhood friends mm -hmm. and we're close with like each other. I don't think you have any childhood friends anymore. I honestly don't. Just kidding. I don't. But like Jay and I do. What a like... red flag. No, you have a couple. Who? Morgan. Okay, who else? That's it. <laughs> what size shoe does each other have? Seven, seven and a half. Um, I'm like, now a solid seven. It like fluctuates, but I'm back to a seven. You're a nine. <laughs> Just kidding. Like an eight? For row. Okay. First eight and a half wide. <laughs> okay, exactly. No, when she was pregnant, I tried to treat her to a nice cute pair of sandals because her feet were swollen. I went up two sizes and went wide and she could barely get her toes in there. <laughs> Holiday hams, they had to squeeze in they there. They really were. It was disgusting. <laughs> Favorite thing about each other? I think that we're so similar. Yeah, I definitely feel like we just hang out with our best friend all the time. But I'd say after you became a mom, it's one of my favorite things is watching you be a mom. Really? Yeah, I feel like I turn into a zoo monster no, and creature when I'm parenting. You're such a good mom your kids are, so, well, your one kid is really good. Your other kid hates me. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Emmy is a bulldozer. She doesn't like anyone. She's, She's gonna come like around. Me. Maybe. Yeah, <laughs> she doesn't like anyone. She's got resting bitch face permanently really glued does. on her face. But Theodore is an angel. He really is. A little mathematician. He really is. Um, I'd say my other favorite thing about you, besides you being just like me. <laughs> yeah, great, thanks. Um, no, Amy's got to be the most caring person I've ever met. And she's very thoughtful with things. Like the best gift giver, the best planner. She puts so much oh, thought nice. into everything. That's right. Mm. It's a perfect example. She, I love sandwiches. It's my favorite food on the planet. So for my bachelorette, which was in Charleston, every room of the house that we like rented out was themed for it. And like she had a sandwich room, a law and order SVU room, like all of these things. She's just very thoughtful. So something that annoys you about each other. Can I go first? I'm nervous. Sure. You're, I'm Amy, I'm not gonna use the expression about the funeral. She is late to everything. Ooh, you are. You are. Not for work, but when it's when it's not work related, I do tend to take my time. Yeah. So if like fashionably I, late, and I say, okay, we're gonna meet for brunch at eleven. And no, I'm, I've gotten so much better at that have, stuff. You have, but you're still late. And I know it's kind of a sliding scale. It's I not slide, a sliding slide. scale. It's not a sliding. But can we just address that as soon as the question was asked, the first thing you said was, "Can I answer first? And I was literally about to say, if "There's nothing." You know what, that would bother so me about Jeremiah ask, too. Who's the nicer sister? <laughs> who's the more forgiving? Who's the more non-judgmental? Honest, honest, transparent. <laughs> Freckles, could you, could could you not? not? <clears throat> Who had the bigger room growing up? Oh, well, we shared a room growing up. And then yeah, when and I, I got the trundle bed. bed. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I got the main day bed. And I had the trundle bed, so <laughs> you're creepy. And you have to then pop, pop it up on the screen. I and got my own room. Yeah. But then I got my Hi. room that had the window seat. How did you tell her about you being pregnant and thoughts when oh, she told you? I remember you? this very well. Oh, there's two stories. Which time? Oh, well, yeah. Uh, with Theo. I remember that vividly. Oh, okay, you tell, because I don't know if I do. I remember the second I one. was at home, it was in the middle of the day, and you FaceTimed me, which was weird. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, which isn't weird isn't now because we FaceTime all the time, but back then you were in New York. Mm -hmm. So it was like different times. It was the middle of the day, you FaceTime me, and like Jeremiah was in the background, but like kind of didn't say anything. And it was kind of a pointless call, and you hung up, and I was like, something's up. Like that was weird. And then you called me back like shortly after, and you're like, I was calling, and you gave me the news. I don't remember how you said it, but you're like, I was afraid to tell you the first time because we always hang out and we have travel planned and all this stuff. Uh, and I was nervous to tell you. And I was like, don't be nervous, I'm so happy. And I was so excited. Okay, who takes longer to get ready? Me. <sighs> That's I mean, why she's always late. I have hair extensions. That's not only it. And. Okay, I shower twice a day. But you just have to back into that time more. I, okay, well, 
I like to just take my <laughs> free time. <laughs> favorite thing about your jobs? My favorite thing, well I love home decor and design, so I love going into all different kinds of homes and seeing what people have done, seeing new homes being built, and ultimately it's just the reward of helping people with some of the most important decisions they have to make in regards to buying or selling homes. Love that. Meeting and new people. you really like first time home buyers too. Yeah, and what's cool is since I've been doing it for a while, a lot of my first time home buyers are now growing their families and um, you know, expanding their portfolio, so it's cool to kind of watch them grow too. Totally. I would say that my favorite part about my job is like the community that we've all built and when I get emails and messages from family members of a lot of these cases, either like thanking me or being appreciative of like their case that has now been cold getting back into the, the you know, not, I don't want to say the public eye, but people regenerating or generating conversation about it and things like that. It's just very fulfilling in that way. What's the most interesting thing about each other? I'd say the most interesting is that you'd never know how handy Annie is and she can literally figure out anything. It could be having to look up something as a reference, it could be having to build something, install something, shop for something, but she is very clever and resourceful. <laughs> My mom's nickname for me is MacGyver. Yeah. Um, I would say the most interesting thing about Amy is, kind of goes back to her thoughtfulness and planning. like. She is just so good at figuring out details about things and knowing what needs to be done, what needs to be figured out, how to achieve it, how to get there. Whereas I guess I kind of do that from a handy point of view. Like, I mean, I can plan a mean itinerary. Like, <laughs> honestly, she's great to vacation with because it's all planned, but like when you get the Excel document a few days before, you're kind of like, but that, but do you, am I like the troop leader on the trips? Never. You don't even no. hear from me because it's no. all handled beforehand. <laughs> Who spends the most money on clothes? Jeremiah. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think both of us pretty evenly. Yeah. We like, we'll splurge here and there, but we also are bargain hunt hunters. Amy has a good little expression being net positive. <laughs> so when she, when we buy stuff, if she ever ends up returning it because she doesn't need it anymore, she's like, I'm net positive for the day because it's like money back in her account. Name three adjectives to describe each other. Ooh, I'll go first. Okay. Smart. Caring. Beautiful. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I would say there's so many. Inspiring. Ooh, that's nice. Very stylish. Ooh, that had a very before I like. I was gonna say adaptable, but in a, <laughs> no, but in a good way. I mean like you're successful in everything you do and like as problems come toward like you're a problem solver. So right. I feel like whether it's in parenting, if something wasn't going as planned, you like easily adapt and figure out a new solution and pivot with work. You obviously did that very well. I mean, you've grown tremendous success in a very short amount of time. Yeah, thanks Bosh. You're welcome. Last question, tell us something you'd like to work on together. I mean, we've always wanted and recently have even talked about different ways to go into business together and how to like utilize both of our strengths to come up with something, which I don't want to give too much away. But there's some ideas. Stay tuned. There's some ideas working. There's some stuff going in the wheelhouse, but I feel like starting a business together feels like the natural next step so that we can spend even more time together and annoy my husband even more. Agreed. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks so much for tuning into another episode on the Annie Elise Diaries with me and my sissy, Amy, my twin, my other half, my best friend. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have other questions for us, let me know in the comment section below. And as always, let me know if you want to see more Bosch on my channel. Amy, sorry, I call her Bosch. Thanks for know. having me. This is fun. Welcome. You're welcome. Thanks for coming. So I think we might go to Disneyland now with Ooh. Theo. I don't know. Let's see. But anyways, have a great day and thanks again. Bye. Bye.